Hey guys, I'm not really a minimalist, but this will be a daily vlog. The reason I put the minimalism thing in the title is because throughout this vlog, I want to talk about some weird stuff that YouTubers that say they're minimalists do. Thing is though, it's like 11 o'clock now, so before I start talking about that, I'll rewind back to when I had breakfast, and we'll get back here eventually. No, that's actually pretty good. Time to hit the gym. My policy is to call them as I see them. No filler quality people lift me up like the Coliseum pillars. Some go from pitching religion to sipping on kombucha politicians, switching positions like it's a Kama Sutra. So I'm back from the gym. See, this is a trick that daily vloggers do. When I was going to the gym, I said it's time for the gym. And you might have thought, well, it's a daily vlog. He said time for the gym. I guess this is his daily time that he goes to the gym. I haven't actually been to the gym for over a week. I didn't tell you that. I didn't lie to you. But I gave you a very specific set of truths that led you to the conclusion that I wanted you to have about me. That I just rock the gym every day and I'm so fit. Okay, now I'm sitting down to film the bit that you probably saw right at the start of the video. I'll skip over that because you already saw it. So now it's time to talk about some weird stuff that minimalism vloggers do. The weird thing about all those lifestyles is 90% of living that lifestyle is based on what you don't do or what you don't buy. It's very hard to make exciting content about stuff that you haven't done for several years. So these minimalism vloggers, they have to find new and exciting ways to show how they don't have much stuff. Here's a quick clip I saw from one of them the other day that just made me co confused. Washroom's pretty legit. Got running water, toiletries, minimalist toothbrush. Doesn't take up any space. Folds right up. Oh, that's a minimalist toothbrush. Okay, because normal toothbrushes, they're like this big. But yours is like this big. Like when you get to other people's bathrooms, you must be like, Gee, how do you fit in here, man, with that huge toothbrush? Dude, live a minimalism life. Now look, I'm not mad at minimalism or simple living or frugalism. I'm pretty interested in them, to be honest, which is why I was looking up all this stuff on YouTube in the first place. But it's such a trend now that there's a lot of people trying to make content about it and then they're kind of turning it into its own form of consumerism. Like when you see videos, it's like 10 anti-consumerist items you must buy if you want to be a true anti-consumerist. It's like, what the hell? Okay, now I'm going to work on some gauntlets for a Pikachu suit of armor that I am building. While I'm doing that, watch this clip from a documentary I recently watched about a guy growing a garden that is also a forest. We are not separate from the wild world. We are as wild as it is. We've worked towards a form that is not fitting in with the wild world at all well. And it's going to, um, it's going to realign us fairly soon, in my view, unless we can recognize that we need to be fully integrated into into that world. Made some good progress on the Pikachu gauntlets. I like what that guy was saying when he was talking about his garden and how wildness is going to take over. Birds have their place in the ecosystem, spiders have their place, and what this guy was saying that humans don't need to find their place, but the economy needs to find its place in the ecosystem. Pretty much just gonna sit around and do nothing till I go to bed. I don't know what else to do. Maybe daily vlogging is a good thing. If everyone daily vlogged, then people would be better, they'd be better people. They'd eat better because everyone would be watching what they eat. So they'd have to eat better. They'd do cooler stuff because no one wants to watch a video of a person just sitting on their couch for a whole day. They'd probably go to the gym more because they'd be like, well, I have to show people that I'm a cool gym guy. Maybe, maybe doctors should prescribe daily vlogging to people that are like, Fat and unhealthy. 